electric vehicles, a drain on the grid, or a needed boost for utilities. I'm Julia Piper, and this is Rewired from Green Tech Media. Electric vehicles and the power grid have a love-hate relationship. At a mass scale, plug-in cars could, in theory, overload local circuits. But if managed properly, they could also be a boon for utilities looking to sell more electricity. On average, EVs use 3 to 6 kilowatts of power to charge, about the same as a home air conditioner. Some models require up to 19 kilowatts, about the same as a single-family residence in the U.S. That's manageable in small amounts, and so far utilities haven't reported any serious problems. But if a lot of EVs in the same location plug into the grid at peak times, like when people come home after work, turn on the lights, and play with their electronics, the load could overwhelm local transformers. There are ways to manage this. Utilities in several states are offering time-of-use plans that encourage EV owners to plug in when it's better for the grid. The energy analytics company Opower recently looked at 2,000 households enrolled in these programs and found that overnight energy usage was four times greater than the average household. That suggests time-of-use rates are working to shift demand. The next step is combining electric vehicles with solar panels, energy storage, and dynamic pricing. San Diego Gas & Electric has been testing an EV charging system that integrates all of those elements. The application operates based on the availability of energy in real time. When there's a surplus of solar or wind, the system sets lower charging rates, signaling EV drivers to charge up. Drivers can select the cheapest and most convenient times to charge via a mobile app, or let the system do it automatically. If no one's ready to charge, batteries will store the excess energy until it's needed. Results have shown that with this system, 95% of charging occurs with no impact to the grid. Theoretically, with this system, hundreds of thousands of EVs could come online without blowing circuits. Increasing demand on the local electric system has its challenges, but it also comes with a benefit for utilities. They can sell more electrons. Americans have become much more efficient in recent years. Retail electricity sales in the U.S. fell by 2% between 2007 and 2013. And solar isn't helping. According to GTM research, California, New Jersey, and Massachusetts all saw their low growth cut in half by distributed solar. The power sector's main trade group, the Edison Electric Institute, says that EVs are essential to reversing this trend. Some leading utilities are building charging stations and testing new EV integration methods, but there hasn't yet been an industry-wide effort to support electric cars. If electricity sales stay flat or start to decline, utilities will be clamoring for ways to boost consumption. And now that we know local demand from charging is manageable, EVs are an obvious choice. Whether or not consumers will buy them en masse, well, that's another matter. Plug-in EVs only made up 1% of new vehicles purchased in the U.S. last year. But a strong push from utilities could change that. I'm Julia Piper. This is Rewired. Thanks for watching.